And a pleasant good morning on Works 96.7 WORX. Welcome inside Coach's Corner, live from the McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop here on Clifty Drive. Right across the street from the field from the team that I'm talking to typically makes their home presence, and that is Madison Lady Cubs softball. And I am joined this morning by Coach Tony Ralston. Coach Ralston, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. How are you today? Oh, not too bad. I wish the weather was a little better, but... Uh it is what it is. It's spring. Well, and, you know, you, you mentioned that. And, uh, you talk about, you know, getting games underway and because uh, you've been able to play games now for a couple weeks. But it always feels like these first few weeks the weather is always less cooperative. Yeah, we talked to, to the girls a lot uh, about being prepared, rain or not. Uh, you know, don't guess what the weather's going to be like and not be prepared to play because there's a lot of situations where we play in are not ideal and, and we just got to be prepared for it. We actually practice in some of that stuff. So they, they got a little bit of comfortable uh, playing and stuff like that. So uh, we try to prepare them as best we can. Let's go back to last season, talk about how the season ended and then what you bring back team-wise this year. I know you lost some seniors last year, but talk about what you know how that ended and what you bring back heading into this year. You know, we, we, I thought we were playing real well going into sectionals, and, and that's what you want to do uh, each year. Uh, that's what we try to prepare to do. Uh, we lost a, a close fought game. Uh, I thought our girls had great energy. Uh, we just didn't, we were one play less than the, the other team. So, I mean, uh, I tell them all the time, I, I'd rather go home and, and hang my head high that we, we had a chance. And that's all I ask every year is give us a, give us a chance. And, and we had our opportunities and, and they just didn't come through for us. But, uh, uh, you know, we lost some seniors last year, but uh, at the same time, we, we also had a lot of girls that are coming back that's got uh, varsity experience. And uh, that's, that's really key for us building our program and going forward is, is you know, each year we got to replace somebody. You know, just like after this year, we got to replace these four young ladies. And we're hoping to now that we're, we're starting to get some depth in our program with junior high and stuff like that, that uh, we're going to be pretty competitive for the next few years, and we feel really good about that. You mentioned the junior high program. I, I was actually talking to my brother about this yesterday. No matter what athletic sport it is, having a junior high program is key to the future. No, oh, it's been huge for us. Uh, you know, when we when I first came into the program, uh, you know, we didn't have that. And, and we got to have a feeder system. You know, like you said, whether it's golf or or, or, or softball, you've got to uh, have a presence in the junior high. And, and uh, we've done a really good job. Uh, Jordan McHenry, Kara Fox, and Tom Bickers are coaching down there for us. And they're doing an excellent job and, and showing the fundamentals and, and teaching them, you know, how to play the game. And, and that's been a huge, huge plus for us because our freshmen came in this year and uh, I don't know the numbers, five or six off the top of my head, but uh, they're all solid. And that's a huge plus for that for us on that and you look at that you've been how many years have you been at Madison now oh I'm thinking this is seven or eight I don't really keep track of that stuff to be honest. <laughs> a while <laughs> just say you're really old and then we'll go with that <laughs> exactly <laughs> but talk about what has changed in your time from when you started to where the program is now you know uh, the, the, the numbers really was was a huge diff you know a quality amount of girls that can play um, you know when we first started uh, I, I felt like uh, some of it was, you know, just something to do for some of the girls. Now I feel like we have a team people, team of young ladies that, you know, are competitive and want to play and want to compete. And, uh, you know, the, the talent level has really came up. But I think a lot of that's came up because of they've been playing. You know, I think these girls here started the junior high program. I believe they were the first sixth grade team uh, that we, we started up. They were the first sixth graders that, that were playing. And uh, that was a huge difference. I know Coach Holt was down there helping when we first started. And, uh, you know, that second year he came back, he said, man, it, this is like night and day difference. And uh, that's what we want to see. And, and we've seen it again this year when we did junior high tryouts that, you know, our seventh graders last year, now eighth graders, I mean, they've made a huge jump, and we expect that again next year when they come in as freshmen. And you look at that, it's, you know, because participation, I feel like, in so many things is down. How do you get people encouraged at the younger level to participate in softball? Well, I think a lot of that starts with us. You know, if we're successful, everybody wants to be a part of that, you know. And, but uh, we also want those young ladies that want to work hard and, and, and dig in and, and want to do something. And, and, you know, we had that summer camp. 
uh, that, that girls come to uh, from third grade to eighth grade. Uh, we've had a really good turnout. I think we've been over 40 girls each year, and, and uh, we're hoping that number keeps growing. But uh, you really got to put your, you got to advertise yourself, I guess, is really what we're after, you know, and, and selling our sport and, and any sport. You know, the numbers, it's just not a, a Madison thing that the numbers are down. It's its everywhere. I talked to coaches, you know, and I think, you know, there was an even an HH school last year that didn't even have a JV team, which I, I, I don't understand how that's even possible. But, uh, you know, that's, that's what we're dealt with right now is trying to get these young ladies to come out and compete and play uh, sports, any sports. When you look and you get the first day of practice and you look at the outlook of the season, you all are hosting sectionals this year, correct? Correct, yes. Which always, which has got to be big for you all to play mm -hmm. on the home field. Is your outlook on the season, your goal on the season, is it to win the sectional? Uh, absolutely. That's our goal every year. Uh, our schedule prepares us for our sectional. I mean, our schedule is very challenging. We have a lot of uh, competitive teams that we play. Uh, the example this week coming up, you know, we have two HHC schools, uh, Hauser, which is a very good program, and Silver Creek, which I think has went to regionals and, and semi-state in the last few years. So, I mean, uh, yes, absolutely. We, we go out and we're going out Monday to win, and, and that's our attitude every day is to come out and win and get better at practice. Talk about uh, pitching because pitching is always so important, whether it's baseball or softball. <coughs> Talk about the pitchers you have for you this year. Uh, we, we have uh, probably mainly our varsity pitchers are probably going to be uh, Abby Moore and, and Bailey Schmidt uh, and Claire McCauley is going to see some innings I'm sure this year um, and then uh, Bree Hicks and uh, Tirsa Adams so we've actually built some depth uh, in our pitching uh, I think we were talking the other day we, we had six or seven pitchers in there you know some other girls that, that, that could throw for us uh, years past we had like two or three pitchers and that's varsity and JV total so uh, that's going to be real nice and I know Coach Peak's excited about that to be able to have more than one pitcher in JV and, and also that also helps those other girls play other positions which will in turn help us at the varsity level. Talk about JV real quick because I don't think people talk about it enough because people just aren't focused on it they're like oh it's JV yep. but talk Talk about how important that is to your program. Well, our, our JV team played exceptionally well the other night. Uh, the, probably the best opening game that we've had since I've been here. Uh, and again, that's f the junior high stuff coming up. We, we're bringing JV players in that can play now, fill the position and, and do things. And, and we have pitching and stuff like that. But yeah, Coach Peak does an excellent job with the JV and, and gets them girls prepared for the varsity level. and. And uh, we, we really, we put in our time. We treat the JV players just like our varsity players, and we expect them to play like the varsity players. So um, we, we don't treat them any different. So that's the way we approach it. You know, you have some seniors sitting uh, with you this morning. It's always uh, special, um, you know, back when I was involved in coaching, and now, you know, you've obviously been involved for years. Seniors are so important to a program because at the end of the day it goes – it's for their job to, you know, mold the younger generation going forward. Yeah, uh, we have a great group of seniors this year. Uh, we have four of them. Um, they've been through the program. Uh, when I say program, they've been in our program for now seven years, counting the junior high. So they understand how we do things, and you really get to know them, and, and you know, uh, they're, they're like our kids. Um, and, and it's been a, an honor to coach them. Um, they're great kids, uh, good in the classrooms. Uh, and good students and, and good, just good people. And uh, we really appreciate them and going to enjoy coaching them this year. And you look at them uh, when it starts the year, when you have a group like this, it's got to make you even more excited as the year goes because you know that you're going to have a great class going forward. Yes. And, you know, that that's the goal. You always want your seniors to be ready and, and to have a, a great year. And, and, you know, we hope they're very successful this year. Uh, that's always the goal for them. But, uh, you know, th they – They've been prepared for this. You know, they've they've seen some varsity experience the last few years, and and uh, we're just hoping they're ready to go and lead us uh, throughout the season. Talk about when you know you see the team together and you see the seniors taking control of something where you or Coach Peak or Coach Holt don't even have to step in; they can do it. That's got to make you feel really good. Yeah, they, they, we put a lot of a lot of 
and stuff for them in charge uh, to take care of where we don't have to run everything. You know, they, we can say, all right, we're going to do this drill or we're going to start stretching and throwing and, and we know it's being done and we do it the correct way. Um, that, that we cannot be the voice all times. They've, they've got to be the voice. Now, that's something we've worked with this group on. They're, they're a little quiet uh, <laughs> from the seniors in years past, but uh, they lead by example mostly, and, and uh, the girls respect them. They're good teammates, and, and that's what you want. Well, then let's go in and hear their voices, okay? So we are now chatting with some of the uh, players joining us here this morning. And a young lady, I want to say congratulations to you on being named uh, to the first team All-State Academic for basketball. So Bailey Dyer, congratulations. Thank you. All right, so talk about softball. You know, you don't really get a break. You go from straight from basketball to softball. Uh, how many years have you been playing softball? Uh, since T-ball, so however many years that is. <laughs> what is it about this sport that you enjoy so much? Um, I just really like the girls and just it's different. Like basketball, I like that, but then softball, it's nice to get away and just focus on something new and just be with the girls. Well, you know, one thing I always say when it comes to a team, team camaraderie is huge mm -hmm. because I think if you don't have team camaraderie, you can't be successful. Talk about your relationship not only with your fellow seniors but with the girls younger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing with the seniors for the last four years, so we're obviously pretty close. But then a lot of the other girls that are on the team, I've played with them in basketball or a different sport. So just kind of bringing that relationship that I've had before to softball too, it just is that much stronger. You well, let's look good and look at this season. Are there any games on the schedule this year that really have your eye that you're looking forward to? Um, I like so I like playing Silver Creek, so that's coming up this week, so I'm excited about that game. Why do you enjoy Silver Creek so much? Just the three A competition. I like that sure. through like I don't know, Silver Creek's always just stuck out to me in other sports too. I feel like we're always playing them and it's always a good game, so And it's always great because it's teams like that that you're gonna see in the sectional. Yeah. What would winning a sectional championship in uh, softball mean to you to close out your career? Oh, it would be really special. I mean, ever since I was in junior high, I've dreamed about winning a sectional. And I haven't got to do it yet in my high school career, so now would be the perfect time to do it. Uh, where are you going to be heading to school next year? Purdue University. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're playing in the Elite Eight tonight, so yeah. <laughs> it's reason yeah. to be happy. What are you going to be majoring in? Um, engineering. Wow, so she is smarter than all of us. <laughs> 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 all right, well, Bailey Dyer, thank you very much. Best of luck this season. Thank you. Let's go ahead and chat with this young lady sitting next to her. What's your name, young lady? Jakira Humes, but they call me Jackie. I'll just call you Jackie <laughs> then, okay? <laughs> all right, Jackie, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing quite wonderful. So um, talk about, you know, not only looking forward to this senior year, but all, just your senior year as a whole. Has it been a good year for you? It's been an amazing year. I mean, yeah, school is stressful, but, like, I always look forward to, like, the after-school stuff, like cheer and softball and, like, theater, all that stuff, yeah. How long have you been playing softball? Since T-ball, so however long that is. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you mentioned you go from cheer to softball. What's the, kind of the transition there? Um, it's a big step because of a lot of, like, conditioning and, like, different. It's just, like, a different field. And, like, when I play softball, I feel like there's a competition and I can, like, Mm. be myself dude not now obviously it takes a lot of work to be a cheerleader obviously you see all the great work you all do there but in the off season when you're all not in school how much work goes into preparing for softball even though it's already the summer how much work goes into preparing for just the next season already oh well, I mean like if I even have a f like free time I would like swing a bat or I would just like throw a ball I would just like on my free time or just like during like that sport I would do it so let's look at this sh at this year is there a game on the schedule this year that you're looking forward to oh uh, Columbus East why Columbus no. East? Uh, because that's where my uncle like coaches and everything, so I'm excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you just want to beat it just to say, hey, we beat you guys? Yeah, just, just in general. <laughs> <laughs> you know, winning a, you know, being a sectional championship is something we've talked about. Talk about what it would mean to you to close out your career with a sectional title. It would, like, mean something to me because, like, I love the sport and I love the team and the coaches, so I know that would be, like, a big step for all of us, an accomplishment and, like, something off our shoulders. Talk about the three years you've had so far. What's been your favorite memory in your three years so far with Madison? Like, with, like, the team? Yeah, the softball team, yeah. <laughs> There's a couple good memories. Just everything about it, honestly, everything. 
And I can tell you have great camaraderie with these girls. Sitting yeah, here. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you going to be heading to school next year? Uh, Sacramento State. Out in California? Yes. Why? Because I'm moving back home. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what do you want to major in? Uh, health science. Health science. Okay. Well, Jackie, best of luck to you. Okay? Thank you. All right. We get a little bit of everything when it talks about calling, talking about colleges for next year. Young lady, what's your name? Gracie. Hi, Gracie. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Not too bad. So, t go ahead and talk about uh, your experience so far with softball over the years you've been playing. Well, I've been playing since T-ball, so ever since then, everything just seems to change, and everyone gets better and better, and then when you get up to high school, it's a whole different game. That's typically how it works. Yeah. <laughs> talk about the this coaching staff here, because Coach Ralston has had... I'm pretty sure the same coaching staff forever since he's been here. So talk about what they've meant to you, if you can say it nicely. Well, <laughs> sometimes they get on my nerves, honestly. <laughs> but for the most part, they help you out in a lot of stuff. If you're struggling with something, even if it's just not softball, they're always there to talk to. So it's like one big family, pretty much. One thing I've always talked about, especially you know, in coaching as you get older kids, you become more than just a coach because you're someone that they can go to if they're having trouble at home or in school. How special has that been to you to have them there for you, not just for softball? It's been pretty special because it means a lot more than just having someone as a coach, not being able to talk to them about anything. Mm -hmm. So being able to talk to them about stuff means like if you're just not comfortable telling anyone else and you're more comfortable with them, they're always there. Mm, sure. sure. Now, um, you look, you're looking ahead to this year. You obviously you have Silver Creek this week and some other big games. The HHC doesn't matter what sport it is. The HHC is always tough. Is there a game on the schedule this year though that you're looking forward to? Usually, I always look forward to the Southwestern game because sure. that's our rival. Yeah, it's on Good Friday this year too. All very holy day. <laughs> 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 Why? So Southwestern, that you know, your years playing them, they've have a great program out there. Talk about what it's always like playing them and how much of a battle it always is. It's, they always bring it like we do, so it's always one big competition, and the best team always ends up winning. So, are you? Do you play at home this year against them, or are you, you out there? We're at home. Excellent. Uh, where are you going to be heading to school next year? I'm going to Purdue University. All right. Uh, what are you going to be majoring in? Animal science. Animal science. All right. Well, Gracie, best of luck to you. Okay. Thanks. All right. Got one more senior joining us here this morning. Young lady, what's your name? Peyton. Hi, Peyton. How are you doing? Just fine. All right. So talk about uh, your time playing softball here at Madison. Oh, it's been a great joy. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> as you look at your head coach and you say that. Well, you're looking at your head coach as you say that. Talk about what him and the coaching staff's meant to you. Oh, they've, they've been great. Um, it's, it's real special to have the same coaching staff all four years. Um, like Gracie said, they're always there for you. Like, it's not just for practice, but for whatever you need, whatever reason, they're always there to talk to you. Let's say, you you know, if you have something in your, you know, a part of your game that you want to improve on, are they always there to ask for help to say, hey, coach, what can I do better at this position? Oh, yeah, Peak Peak's real good about that. <laughs> um, especially at my batting. Mm -hmm. Like he's always like, don't hit around the ball. <laughs> which <laughs> which helps a lot. Is that how he talks? No, <laughs> not really, but that's just my imitation. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you look ahead to this year. Um, obviously, senior year, you, you want to enjoy every minute of it. Uh, so we're, we've talked about the sectional this year. You host it, so you're going to have a great crowd there. What would it mean to you to close out your senior year with the sectional title? Oh, that, that would be great. Um, you know, we, we work so hard during the season, so just to, just to win the sectional – would be cherry on top of the cake. Is that what you is that is that what you're looking forward to as far as game wise this year the sectional? Yeah. Uh, you are, what are you where are you gonna be heading to school next year? Um Bellarmine University. Oh down in Louisville. What do you want to major in? Nursing. Or do you want to continue playing softball in college? No. I'm gonna retire after this year. You're gonna retire? <laughs> <laughs> gonna hang it up <laughs> gonna hang it up. Uh, that's what happens when you get old. You get to retire. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, Peyton, best of luck to you, okay? Thank you. Uh, I can just I can tell the way, you know, you responded to what they said. This is a great group of girls you got here. Yes. As you can see, every day is an adventure with this group. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good or bad thing? It, it's good sometimes. Sometimes we have to cut it back so we are uh, a little more serious about things. But uh, they do keep you smiling, uh, and, and that's a... 
that's a good thing you know they're they're happy all the time and they want to compete um, but you know they're always if you misstep or do anything as a coach uh, they're on top of it and they make sure you know about it do they really they make yeah, sure yes. you, when you screw up they make sure you know yes yes miss holt here is always uh keeping me in line <laughs> but you know you talk about just how much you enjoy this group just as a group yep. you know forget about this you know on the softball field for a minute it, what you know the six, wins and losses are part of the game and wins are great but sometimes just having a team that you just love being around yep. is even better well we we tell them every day you know we're, we're not only preparing you to play softball but we're trying to pre prepare you for when you leave high school to go out in the real world and and you know there's things out there that they haven't been exposed to yet and and we're trying to make sure they're they're not caught off guard and how the you know how certain people can be at certain times and and uh, we tell them that all the time and making good decisions and what to do, what's right and what's wrong, and, and uh, we feel like, you know, we're, we, we set them up to be successful in life, and, and I feel that these four will be just fine. He, they mentioned how you all are so important to them because it's not only about softball. If they ever have issues, you know, outside of softball, they yep. can come to you. That's got to make you feel good knowing that they trust you enough to talk yeah. to you about that. All four of my coaches, you know, Coach Enthorn, who's not here, you know, they, they've all, we've all deal with these girls day in and day out. And, and like I tell the parents in the parent meeting, you know, they come and, and they complain about you. And, and I'm sure they're going to come home and complain about me. But we both got to support each other and, and uh, you know, uh, sometimes they don't like to hear what I have to say about it. Uh, you know, it's not the answer they're looking for, but they know it's going to be the honest answer or or way I feel about it, and, and they like that. You know, you look ahead to this year, um, you know, like I said a minute ago, the HHC is always a very, very tough conference, and you mentioned Hauser as a team you play also. They may be a 1A school, but don't you dare overlook them because exactly. they're a good team. Yes. Like I said, our, our schedule is pretty top-loaded, uh, and there's not too many breaks in our schedule. So I, we, we teach them every day, you, you've got to be ready to compete. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to be ready to go. And however Monday turns out, we've got to move on and be ready to go Tuesdays. So and Tuesday's no better with New Albany. Talk about the teams in your sectional. Run them down, how that sectional fair looks. You know, I, I feel like our sectional, you know, with South Dearborn and Greensburg and Batesville and what is it, Franklin County and I think Rushville oh, okay. and Lawrenceburg. I, I feel like uh, Rushville, they moved out. Lawrenceburg, uh, I, feel like, I feel like we're all right there. Um, it was a very competitive sectional last year, I believe, every game if I'm not mistaken, was decided by one run or two runs. Wow. And, uh, you know, right there, that proves that. You know, sometimes we go into sectionals and, and you know, I think we get overlooked a little bit because of our record. Uh, but if you really compare schools that we competed against, that they competed against, we're, we're, we're winning the same game. So uh, uh, I feel like, you know, we're right there and, and we're knocking on that door. And we're just, I hope we get over the hump this year. So you're the only HHC school in that sectional? Correct. Wow. That, see, that gives you an advantage right there because, man, the HHC, it, it doesn't take prisoners. No, no, it does not. You know, it, we, we talk about, you know, especially in our conference in the 4A, you know, things when I grew up, you know, it was a, we were a little more closer in, in, in attendance and stuff like that. And there's a, there's a big discrepancy right now in attendance with 4A schools in our conference and with us. We're more comparable to our sectional, and you can tell the type of play. It's, it's a different, uh, there's some of these teams like Floyd, uh, with the, the caliber of players that they have, I mean, there's a, there's a step up there. And, you know, there's games, we're, we're right there, and we're competing with the best in the state. I feel like a lot of those schools are the best in southern Indiana, and, and they're good. They're good. I, I umpired mean, one of your games a few years ago against Floyd, and I swear those were machines out there. Yes. Like, those, those weren't real players. Like, <laughs> that's, that's an unbelievable program. Yes, they, got they do, and they have a lot of D Division One players coming out of there, and, and Sean uh, Payne, he does an excellent job there. and uh, He's a real good. Uh, coach and, and we have a lot of respect for them. You know, you look out th at this season, there are several big games. Of course, the Southwestern game, which is yep. always on the, that one Friday. It's on Good Friday this year. Yep. We'll have it for you here on Works 96-7. That's also our cancer awareness game. Mm -hmm. they all, which is always such a great event. Yeah. And you look at that and then you look at sectionals. You get to host it this year. 
to me the opportunity is right there for you to do something that this program hadn't done in a long time. Right. And Mr. Bronkell has done a great job, our AD, yes. of getting sectionals here. I have been a firm believer that we should be hosting sectionals in any sport. We have the facilities. Uh, Coach Maude does a great job with our facilities, and, and I feel like our facilities are, are at the top of southern Indiana, especially in 3A. I'm yet to see any better. So. Uh, and, and we should be hosting sectionals every other year. So uh, I know the girls are excited about it. I know two years ago we had excellent crowds, and I hope the, the community comes out and supports us again. It really helped us, and, and uh, uh, we're proud to be doing that. Excellent. Well, Coach, what's your message to the team as we step away here? Uh, you know, just come out and compete and, and be mentally tough every day. Uh, you, there's always new challenges, new games, and, and if you're not prepared, uh, you know, it's going to show up on the field. And well, I want us to be prepared every day and uh, strive to be better by the end of the year. Well, Coach, thank you very much for joining me today. And, girls, thank you all very much. I yep, appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having us. All right, Madison at Lady Cup Softball, Coach Tony Ralston and the girls joining me here this morning.